This is Frenzy on the ColecoVision, no relation to the Hitchcock film. Why is this game important? Because it's the sequel to Berserk. One of the greatest video games ever created, and Frenzy... Frenzy is even better than Berserk. It's not often that a sequel is better than the original. The Empire Strikes Back comes to mind, Evil Dead 2, Aliens, well, that, that's, a, that's a close call between Alien and Aliens, but Frenzy, Frenzy is brilliant. and adds complexity to the gameplay as well as keeping the simplicity of, of what made Berserk so much fun. Created by Stern in 1982, Frenzy saw its way onto the ColecoVision in 1983, and not very many other game systems. This is not available on the Atari 2600 or 5200. You can't get this for the Nintendo. I think the ZX Spectrum got a version of this game. Frenzy is easily worth buying a ColecoVision for. If you've played Berserk, the controls are identical. What's interesting is that I've read in articles that Eugene Jarvis, creator of Robotron 2084, actually tried to improve the controls of Berserk for the Robotron control scheme. Or improve upon the control scheme, I should say. Which is a decision I agree with. In fact, I always find the controls of Berserk and Frenzy to be the most challenging aspect of the game, because if you could fire like Robotron, it actually wouldn't be that difficult, but you can't. You can only fire in the direction that you move. Which makes the game quite challenging, and Frenzy is an appropriate title for this game, especially when you play on the harder difficulty settings on the ColecoVision. The enemies come at you from all directions, they shoot at you, the shots can bounce off the walls. There's some differences between this and Berserk. The walls can't electrocute you for one thing, so you can't run the robots into the walls, but they can shoot each other. There's those really cool sections in the middle of the board every, I think, four levels. There's like a factory, there's a giant evil auto, and oh, oh boy, you, you do not want to shoot evil auto when like, the big daddy evil auto is watching. He gets very angry and very bad things happen to you. I like the complexity of Frenzy a great deal, and one of the things you immediately need to do when you start a new level is to ensure that you have an escape route. After a certain period of time, Evil Auto will come on screen to kill you, and if you spend all your time trying to shoot the bad guys on screen and haven't found yourself an escape route, it's easy to get cornered and um, horribly terminated by Evil Auto. Another major difference here is that you can shoot Evil Auto when he comes on screen. If you shoot him three times, he goes away. But then he comes back even faster, stronger, and more determined than before. But you do get bonus points for shooting him, so it may be worthwhile to hang out by an exit and just try to blow away Evil Auto a couple times to rack up some points. But, but watch out, if you shoot him two or three times, he comes back at lightning speed. The first part of the review I was playing on difficulty setting 1 on the ColecoVision, which I found to be a bit easy, but it's also good to get started if you're just if you're just picking up this game and learning to play it. Difficulty settings 2 through 4 are much more challenging. I'm playing at difficulty level 2 for the remainder of the review. Things generally move faster, which of course turns the whole thing into more of a frenzied assault on your senses. If you enjoy Berserk at all, then you owe it to yourself to check out Frenzy. This game adds so much complexity to the already outstanding gameplay of Berserk without ruining it that it's simply a must play and comes highly recommended. Definitely worth picking up a ColecoVision just for this game. 
And there's a whole lot of other awesome games on the ColecoVision, so it's not like there's just one good game on the system. You can also find the game cartridge out there online fairly easily today. The simplicity and frenzied action of the gameplay combined with a somewhat frustrating control scheme makes for a truly exhilarating game.